Hello and welcome to Myrtle Beach and the World Championship Chili Cookoff. Every year they have a World Championship. This is the 54th World Championship Chili Cookoff, and they're holding it this year in Myrtle Beach. So let's go into the festival and check out what they got going on. But before you enter the festival, they've got cars lined up here from a Mustang Club. Which makes sense because last week was Mustang week for Myrtle Beach. If you want to see more Mustangs, check out the video uh, published just last week. You get to see a bunch of Mustangs. Anyway, we're not here for the Mustangs, we're here for the Chili. So over there, over yonder, is the entrance to the festival. The festival is free of charge. You can walk in, walk around, talk to people, enjoy the music, the games, etc, etc. If you want to participate in the championship, there is a uh, award for the people's choice. So the way that you vote for this is you buy a ticket and you get to vote for your five favorite chilies. So once you've voted, you put them in these giant uh, cans of beans, which you'll see momentarily in the festival grounds, and the People's Choice Award will go to that chili cooker. You'll see off to the left there are, gosh, 100 plus chilies to choose from. We'll do a lap around the festival grounds and you'll see that in a moment. Here they have some merch, some actually very interesting logos. I kind of dig the design of those shirts and those hats and those buttons. And after you pass by the merch, we go off to the right and there's actually a youth section for the chili cook-off. You'll see all these tents over here next to the uh, alcoholic beverage stand for the parents is the youth contestants. Now you might think to yourself, who in the world organizes the world championship chili cook-off it's actually an international chili society they've been doing this since the 60s so they do events all year long uh, they claim to do over 100 events a year and they're for charity primarily this event here is the championship where everyone tastes and votes and you get a winner and it's sponsored by who other than bushes baked beans right over here no talking dog was on site during this day, but I will say that Kevin from The Office, if you're a fan of The Office and you're a fan of Chili, you know who I'm talking about. He, the actor, obviously, was here on Saturday and he had a segment and he talked to people and you could get your picture with Kevin from The Office. I didn't get to see him, so... I was a little disappointed about that. I didn't realize he was there until after the point. So this festival took place over three days. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You may have already figured it out just by watching that this festival is taking place on the old pavilion amusement park grounds nowadays they don't refer to this as the pavilion amusement park they call it the burrows and chapin pavilion place so that's the official name for this area so the country music festivals here uh, food truck festivals here stuff like this occur in this space makes sense it's a wide open space right up against the beach you could literally throw a football and hit the beach from here we're very very close so what you're seeing here all these tents these are the actual contestants each tent has a contestant from a different area they have a sign over the top of each one of these booths you see them hanging there it'll say their name where they're from all over the country and what varieties of chili they have you'll have your your regular, your veggie, your vegan, stuff like that. And surprisingly, there were a lot of veggie and vegan chili options at this festival. Quite surprising. 
So as you go through, it's almost like getting hit by pop-ups from the late 90s. All these chili cookers are yelling at you like, hey, check out my chili, come taste my chili. They'll have different flair and funny names and stickers and stuff to get your attention to come try them. If you came here and you wanted to attempt to try every single one of these booths, I, I bet you you could not pull it off. There is a lot to choose from here. You'd have a pretty upset stomach by the end of the day. So you'll definitely want to go through, talk to the people, and try to find the ones that you already think that you'll enjoy more than the others. Along with just the straight up chili to choose from, there were food trucks peppered around the site so you could get you know, a sandwich, a hot dog, things like that. So it's not just chili. See that sign? Pros. So these are the chili pros. These are supposedly the best chili cookers in the United States. So if you're a chili head, I'm sure this is heaven for you. For entertainment purposes, they had a stage in the center of the grounds and they had music, bands, other forms of entertainment. On this day, they had some of the comedians and magicians from a local theater at Broadway at the Beach presenting a, a few uh, skits, if you will, from their shows. Stop by the Bushes booth all weekend long to test your bean knowledge. Become chili royalty on the Bushes Beans throne. And of course, pick up some truly beantastic swag. Find them near the Bushes stage and say hi to Bushes, that beautiful bean company. Now, I am excited to be here. All right, if you guys are out there making some noise right now, I want to hear you. Come on, everybody in the house, put your hands together. There you are, you're hiding over there behind the tent. Hey guys, welcome to the Chili Cook-Off, the only place in town today with free gas. My people over there. My name is Steve Falcon, I have a show over at the Wonders Theater at Broadway at the Beach. It's called the Comedy Hypnosis Hour. It's for adults only, so if you left the kids at home, you come on over and see me and have some naughty adult fun. I'm going to do something for you really quick as a group, then I'm going to bring a friend of mine up who shares the theater with me over at the Wonders Theater. <laughs> Well, how's everybody doing? That's our lap around the 54th annual Chili Championship here in Myrtle Beach. So on the way out, there were some uh, different cars lined up along the boulevard after we had left and came back. So I'm going to show you those as part of the outro, just so you can get a peek at some nice cars. This is my winner right here, personally. So. I'll leave you with that. And until next time, everybody, take it easy. <laughs>